Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, show the number of row count uh, in here in some uh, label at real time. So, for example, I have this uh, table here, right? And I want to uh, know how many uh, rows of data I have uh, and I want to show it here in the message because this data will change. You will uh, you know delete some data you will add some data and in case of uh, uh, a big data for example thousands of uh, rows if you uh, need to know of how many uh, rows or how many uh, the number of uh, data i have or how many employees i have in my case then i can show it here and i will show you how you can do it okay so what you need to do first is uh, just go to your toolbox box and search for the tool called timer and drag and drop into your uh, form and as soon as you will drag and drop this timer into your form you will see it will not go directly into your form but it will go here at the bottom okay so it's fine uh, that it goes here and its name is timer one okay so just remember the name now the second thing what you need to do is just select your form as a whole so you need to select your form anywhere not any tool but the form form as a whole okay and double click it and you will reach to the form load event of uh, your your project okay so just uh, see that it's a form load event and in here just go down and in here you need to write timer one which is our timer name dot start and what this code will do is as soon as your uh, form will load or as soon as you will start running your program this timer will start okay so this is uh, the code which will start your timer okay now once again go to your design view and in here select your timer tool from here just select it and double click it and you will go to uh, the timer one tick event okay and in here what we are going to do is we will declare a variable which is int so we will say dim count as integer okay and in the next line I will say count is equal to and then I will take the name of my employee binding source so my employee data binding source name is employee data binding source right so I will say employee data binding source dot count okay and now in the next line what I will do is I will show this count in the label so I will go to my design view and I will take a label from my toolbox so search for the label label yeah it's it is so I will drag and drop a label here in my toolbox and uh, I will increase the font size of this label so we can see it. So I will go to the label properties here and I will search for the property called font. So click this property and in here I will select bold 14 or 16. Okay. So now we will be able to see our label better okay and now what you need to do is once again go to this timer tick event or the, just select your timer one and double click it and in here we will write label one which is the name of our label okay in case you don't know how to know the name of the label just select your label, uh, label and see in the properties what is the name of your label by default it will be label 1 but yeah you can see it like this so you can say label dot text 
is equal to count okay so you can just uh, show uh, the count or number of rows in your label but just to make it a little bit better i can add the text to it so i, I can say there are and then i will give a plus sign here which will concatenate our our string and this count and once again i will give a plus sign and i will once again give these double quotes and i will say there are this much amount of employees for example in my case you can change this text according to your data right okay now when i run the program and it's not showing anything right now and it shows error so let's see what's the error and it says conversion from string there are to double is not valid right this is true because we are trying to convert our integer value to a string what you can do is just go to the code once again and in here we have written there are and then plus count so this is an integer and this is a string and this is not valid that you can concatenate you cannot concatenate string and integer in the same line so you need to go to this count variable and just write dot to string so this will convert your uh, integer to your uh, to the string and that now it will work fine hopefully i'll run the program and now you can see there are 12 employee right so i can count the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so it gives me the right data for example i will add a new data so i will say add new and i will give a new data for employee id 14 some name some surname and country usa phone number and pay and i will say save save data so data is saved and now it will refresh so you may have observed that whenever i click this add new here your count will increase so i will once again add new and your count will increase and for example i will add 15 employee name and country name year okay once again and i want to choose this year this date okay and the phone number and the pay and save okay so you will see the number of employee changing here whenever you add some data or remove some data so for example i will select this and remove this your number of employee immediately updates right so in this way you can count the number of rows in your table at real time i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now